You know, one thing that the Lord has taught me before it actually even happened directly, I always knew whenever I would picture myself or I would look at myself, I look at what is going on. Listen, it is hard to be undermined. That, 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 that is the truth. It is never easy. When people around you, you can see that they think they are better than you. Not that because you are thinking you are better than them, but you can just tell that they look down on you. Whatever you do, they think you can do better. You are not competing with them, but they think you are nothing. You get what I'm saying? So, over time, I got to learn, I got to observe, I got to experience when God will do something great, then someone who competes with me will start come chasing. And that finally, that's what I did. I do something, I go up. You can just tell that the person is chasing. And with others, they are not competing. But with you, they think they're better than you. And then that's when it finally dawned eh, that there comes a time where they can't compete anymore. And how so? It means it will take God to bless you in a way which, even though they try to imitate, they can no longer do it. That is why uh, two things happen when that time comes. It's either they're going to surrender and begin to acknowledge and begin to, yeah, want to have a piece of the pie or be supportive so that uh, you get what I'm saying? Or they can just directly hate you for it. They will want to wanna, wanna get rid of it, you. You see, what actually happened with Joseph, uh, you know why they got rid of him? It was not necessarily because he keeps telling them about a dream. He keeps, no, time and time again, his father will favor him more. His father will do great things. When they are relaxed, that dreamer comes. Next thing, that dreamer has been bought this. You get what I'm saying? And it kept irritating them. It kept reminding them of their failures. That is why people don't hate you because they just feel like hating you. Not because they just wake up and hate you. Every time you achieve something better, they look at themselves. You become a mirror. You are a mirror to many people. And unfortunately, that mirror, people, they, 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 some, they look at it as a mirror where you remind them of where they are not at yet and they wish to get. Where they wish they could get. Where you are getting before they get. Where they, you are getting where they might not even ever get. So it's a problem. Why these ones? That's why there's a saying, you know, which they like saying in my language that, yo, I think even in English, they have this saying that hey, some of us, it seems like in this world, we came to be spectators, you know? It's almost like we just walking you, we are help. We are, okay, yeah, the proper way is this. It's like we are accompanying you into this world because we are just seeing how things happen from you. It never happening to us. That's how people observe or see things like this. That is why you should not worry so much when things are like this. Remember, Anything that starts from here, that's a done deal, right? Anything that wakes up and is already up there, there was no mystery. There was no fun. There was no, you know, I remember one time I was watching this movie and then it was a boxing match. The way they had anticipated that match for the longest. Up until finally, it was time for those fighters to fight. So some, when they entered, as they were still entering the arena, as the match started, the match, I think it didn't even last for a minute. The man was quickly knocked down and the people were angry. What? So that's it. You get what I'm saying? We can't believe what you, you, you get what I'm saying. They wanted to watch a match which they anticipated is going to be one for the ages. That is why God is building it up bit by bit. You get what I'm saying? The Lord is building it up bit by bit. They have to undermine you first. Like Joseph, they have to sell you first. Like David to Saul, or Saul to David, he had to attempt killing him first. And then realize that I can't kill this person. Sometimes they look at it. They feel like, only if I can have a one shot at this person, I can get them. That is why even in the academics, have you ever noticed when you just enter the new class, you then the first test, it's always like 
remember all of you most likely you are new and you'll be like the very first test i want to be number one after the first test then someone is number one and you're number two or you're number third or whatsoever but the the bottom line is there be students who scored who performed better than you you know what happens to that person you'll be like no okay i'm gonna get you in the next test it is not a situation where you surrender oh I do, I do on a bed. Ah, yeah, that's what you feel like you have a shot next time i'm gonna study hard i'm going to show you next test again same thing happens again again you got what i'm saying you get stressed third test ah and then finally you try to give it your best your all to study and then still that person gets number one to the point where you'll be like oh i don't know how this person does it but oh that test was so hard but this one still scored ah no ways the competition does when it ceases you start to com to accept the being number two number three or whichever position that's how some people most students they begin i've noticed that when i was in school the same thing in, in our first test everyone will be studying studying as in the middle of the year now everybody does not care they so long as they passed you get what i'm saying but the one who has always been number one they hated to be to suffer someone to be number one but then the beauty of this all that person who's been getting number ones by the middle of the year or by the quarter of the year however the period they be in a position where now everybody can acknowledge you are smart everybody even goes for advices how do you do it can you teach me can you tip me because they have acknowledged that you are clever they have acknowledged you can do it they have acknowledged it is not by accident let me tell you something they're gonna acknowledge that you are clever they're gonna acknowledge that you have a god who is this god introduce us to this god myself i've gotten to a point where at times some people will come for help come some people will even confess you know what pride won't help me it's time now i come before you now it's time that you got around saying to show that they realize this is what it is and it seems this is how it's going to stay so but how do i get how can i also because it's obvious that this thing is something of another level it is not a coincidence let me tell you they will acknowledge they will see they will notice don't let them undermine you let them think ah, you are the nothing when it finally happens you will see your life will turn around your life a supernatural turnaround i decree and i declare a supernatural turnaround over you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and of course that's all i had my details are on the comment section below see you next time